Workers' compensation retrospective rating plans, otherwise known as retro plans, are loss-sensitive alternate funding mechanisms for workers' compensation premiums. The key words are loss-sensitive. In fact, with any retro plan, the employer will participate in some manner in direct payment of claims incurred. As compared with a typical fixed or guaranteed cost plan where the employer pays a premium to the insurance company and the insurance company pays claims out of their own pocket, on a retro plan, the employer pays a minimum premium to the insurance company and after the end of the policy period, in what's known as the retro adjustment, the insurance company tabulates claims incurred and collects from the employer the actual cost of those claims. There's generally some maximum limitations built into the plan, so the employer may know their maximum cost for a single policy period up front. But in an incurred loss retro, the employer actually pays the cost of their own claims, allowing the insurance company to pay and settle those claims out of the employer's pocket. You might ask, why would anyone do that? Positive cash flow, a positive return on investment, and possible tax benefits are some of the reasons an employer may be attracted to using a retro plan. These plans are sophisticated and certainly not for everyone. It requires experienced, informed brokers and insurance company representatives, people who know what they're doing to properly design and set up a retro plan. Employers must be qualified before choosing to use such a plan. We've provided expert witness and litigation support on cases where employers were poorly informed about the pitfalls of these plans, where they incurred large unexpected additional premium bills from the insurance company and ultimately ended up in litigation. So when these plans go wrong, they really go wrong in a big way. Be sure to visit the page on our website about workers' compensation retrospective rating plans. You'll find out what a retro plan is, how it works, how claims affect them, how to calculate premium, who should and should not consider using them, and how to correct problems when they occur. I hope this information has been helpful, and thanks for watching.